Today on the channel, we've picked up a one-way ticket to Suplex City with the latest Mattel Ultimate Edition in Brock Lesnar. The spirit of the Warrior will run Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today, we got the old Beast Incarnate, we've got Brock Lesnar. But for all your Brock Lesnar, AEW Jazzwares, Mattel WWE wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal all day long, and Brock Lesnar makes his triumphant return to the Ultimate Edition line, and it seems like uh, a week ago, because it was a week ago, we unboxed his latest uh, WWE Elite Series figure. So we'll, of course, compare it to that one. We'll grab the old Ultimate Edition of Brock Lesnar and have a little comparison at the very end of this video. But first, we got to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We've got to take a look at the packaging. we got to talk about it. we got to unbox it. we got to talk about it. we got to see where it goes from there. So without further ado... Let's see what old Brock's up to. Of course, this is just regular Ultimate Edition line. We will be seeing these at your Target stores, I guess, eventually. But I'm guessing probably 2023 at this rate. Uh, Ringside has these way earlier than anybody else. And uh, you can see Brock in there looking good. Looking all those different heads, extra hands. And then you get the title belts. No shirts, no extra cloth accessories, anything like that. A lot of people were hoping for some flannel with this Brock Lesnar. Uh, we're just going to have to wait for that Amazon exclusive three pack, I guess. But we do get some title belts. Uh, we'll dive into all that when we get it out. You got the Ultimate Edition, of course, all that going there. You got old Brock, a, a little nice grin going on there for him. Brock Lesnar on the side. And then, of course, we got the back. We got the glamour shot. We got the action figure shot. We got the tail of the tape. We've got the blurb. It's all back there for us. Let's see what it says about our old buddy, Brock Lesnar. Six foot three from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Finisher, the F5. Career highlight, universal champion, WWE champion. The alpha male of our species is back. The beast incarnate returned to WWE with one goal in mind. Challenging Roman Reigns to once again become the reigning, defending, undisputed universal and WWE heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar. So there you go. We get a little write-up action going on right there. And we get the little Easter egg sayings here. The Beast Incarnate and a one-way ticket to Suplex City on that side. So very cool. Of course, shoebox style packaging as we're accustomed to with our alternate editions. Off to the races, off to the side. See you later. Get out of here. And we get old Brock and he's locked in, it looks like, at the feet. They don't want him running away. But there's old Brock Lesnar. So let's bust this guy out of here. Let's talk... Uh, what's going on with the old new Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar? And of course, we'll break down the accessories first, like we usually do. There's one head. There's two heads. There's a title. Ugh, there's a title belt. There we go. And then we get all kinds of extra hands, which it is an Ultimate Edition after all. We got to make it feel ultimate. We got to get all the hands under the rainbow. And then we get Brock himself, and we're off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. All right, Brock, sit over here for a second. Take a little break. Take a little siesta. We're going to break down these accessories here. And let's start with these hands. So Brock comes with two gripping hands on the figure. But we luckily get some other figure hands here for him uh, to play around with. First, we get two big old meat hook fists here for Brock Lesnar. Has the UFC style gloves on him that say Lesnar, of course. Uh, very, very cool big handed Lesnar right there. And then we get bigger gripping hands. Now, I've never quite understood these big gripping hands, uh, what they're exactly used for. Uh, the C-grip hands, whatever we call those, those usually can grip most things. This is a different, bigger grip. So not really needed, but I guess, hey, it's an extra set of hands. It gives us a little extra value. So uh, it is what it is. Choose your own hand adventure, as we always say. Then we're going to break down these title belts. And very strange that we get the blue belt here because I, if my memory, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, Brock never had this one. He had the red one and the black one, but I don't think he ever carried the blue belt. I could be wrong, but that's where my mind goes. He never had this one in his collection of belts, and he is a bit of a belt collector, as we know. But we do get the two title belts from the WWE. Uh, very cool that we get the Brock Lesnar side plates, and I'm assuming it's on both of these. 
Yes, it is on both of these. So that is something they're doing a little bit different, giving a little uh, more specific titles. So that is good because it makes it even better for this Brock Lesnar figure. He's got his specific titles to him. But it's also bad because sometimes a lot of collectors, maybe we get a title belt with somebody. Maybe a Shinsuke Nakamura comes with an Intercontinental title belt. We say, well, I don't really want to use it for him. I want to use it for Elias. I want to use it for somebody else, uh, whoever I want to be my Intercontinental champion. Well, you can't really do that with this one unless you just haven't beat it and he's holding it up just after he won the match or whatever because the side plates are going to stop uh, the switching around of different belts. But at the same time, it's good. So I don't know what side of the fence to really be on. I guess I prefer the specific ones at the end of the day, uh, but I can see some people like, I don't want specific because I want to be able to move that belt around to different people if need be. So I see both sides there. Uh, but it is the old title belts here, a little thicker in the plates it feels like. I don't know, maybe not. But definitely cool to get two title belts here with Brock Lesnar in the Ultimate Edition. It is Ultimate after all. I did mention earlier we didn't get the flannel with him. Very strange. I feel like they could have put that in here, but I guess it's not exactly what they're representing right here. I guess that's what we're going to have to say. Uh, but we do know there is an Amazon exclusive three pack with Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar. That is coming down the line. So I guess stay tuned for that one. Uh, in the next few months, it says, I think, April, March delivery of next year. It'll be way before that. I wouldn't be shocked if we don't see that before year's end. All right, now let's check out this Brock Lesnar figure and let's break down the three heads that come with Brock Lesnar. We'll talk heads first, rest of the body, articulation, all that fun stuff. But the head on Brock Lesnar here is more of the uh, plain Jane Brock. Not happy, not mad, somewhere in the middle. A determined look on Brock. And I do got a little black scuffage on the end of his nose, which is always unfortunate. We hate to see stuff like that. Also got a little bit of black scuffage throughout his head. I'm going to have to try to clean that up a little bit. Uh, but it is block Brock. It is plain Jane Brock. Uh, he does got his nice ponytail. Uh, it's almost like a road warrior animal type look in some ways without, of course, the ponytail aspect. But it's a mohawk ponytail. Very interesting fashion choice for old Brock Lesnar there. Uh, then, of course, you got Brock's beard throughout. Nice blonde beard. Looking really good. So now we break down these heads here. And the second head is happy Brock Lesnar. Good to see Brock real happy. You got some teeth showing. You got the same beard going there, and then, of course, the exact same hair going throughout the ponytail. They're just moving that over. Almost a dark honey mustard type color to Brock's hair on this one. But definitely uh, the smiling Brock. If you're looking for smiling Brock, you got that head. And then the other one, oh, we got mad Brock. We got angry, yelling Brock Lesnar, mouth wide open, big old teeth showing, all that kind of stuff. Got the eyes raised. Interesting. So it really is the perfect dynamic in heads here with this Brock. You get a plain Jane head, you get a very happy head, and you get a very angry head. So what emotion Brock Lesnar are you right now? That's what I would say. So that looks good. I like these head choices. I wish every ultimate came with these three type of heads when it does make sense, of course. But now let's break down this Brock figure, and it does feel beefier, meatier than your traditional Ultimate Edition figure, because Brock obviously is a big jacked up dude, as we know. Got a little bobblehead on that head as well, too. Uh, but let's move him around. We got, of course, the butterfly shoulders on Brock. Always love the butterfly shoulders, except for the back, as I always say. It gets a little weird back here, uh, especially with Brock and his tattoo work. It is a little bit strange uh, when you move it back. But how many people are displaying him backwards? Probably hardly anybody. Probably nobody, actually. So I guess it doesn't make uh, that much of a hurt to the figure. It doesn't really hurt the thing, the dynamics of it at all. But we do have that. And, of course, you got the bicep cut. Arms go all the way around, double jointed, pinless elbows, of course, hands back and forth, side to side, hands are removable. We do got the uh, sweatbands around the forearms, those are removable when you take the hands off as well. Head removable, as you guys know. Get a nice hula hoop, got a nice articulation there at the mid waist, and then of course the regular waist. Then you can do the old Brock Lesnar splits. Uh, because, you know, he's doing hurdles from every once in a while as well. You do get the thigh cut, of course. Double jointed knees, not pinless down here. You do get boot cuts. Ankle articulation, side to side, back and forth. And then, of course, the Todd McFarlane toe articulation that everybody loves. We also get the drop down hips. We talked about that in our Ultimate Warrior review. I'm not a huge fan of the drop down hips, as I've said before. Doesn't do a lot for me. Doesn't really add to my experience. It just seems like an extra cost. I would rather see it put into something else. But there are some people, maybe they really like to drop down hips. Uh, it's whatever floats your boat, I guess. If you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't. If you're indifferent, hey, guess what? You're indifferent. That's the way it goes. I wouldn't say I hate them. I'd just say I'm indifferent on them. But sometimes they do kind of, uh, especially G.I. Joe, that's where I know them the most for is the Classified series. They do inhibit the figure's... Uh, not articulation, but just posability from time to time. I feel, I feel at least. 
Uh, but of course, this Brock definitely looks like Brock Lesnar. And then you get down to the tattoo work here. Of course, you get the sword there on his chest. We all know about that. The big skull and meat hooks on the back. You get the two uh, shoulder tattoos. The usual Brock Lesnar tattoos we get with his action figures, uh, of course. And then you get the Brock uh, shorts going on down here looking good you got the Brock logo on his butt and then you got the Brock logo on the front of the shorts of course these are kind of the UFC shorts he wears to the ring what's it say fear fury on the sweatbands so yeah it's your paint by numbers ultimate edition Brock Lesnar is what this really turns out to be not a bad thing at all does he fit on a ringside collectible stand use discount code Kyle make sure you get the old WWE stands for the WWE figures that makes sense of course uh, but there it is. Brock fits like a glove right on there. Pretty good. A good Brock Lesnar. It feels good in hand. Good articulation. Good movement. I like the beefiness of it. I like the choose your own adventure on the head sculpts. Of course, the hands are all over the place. The biggest downer with this set seems to be the wrong title belt, at least as far as my memory goes. But that's not that big a deal at the end of the day. I mean, I'd rather have an incorrect title belt than an incorrect uh, something else uh, on the figure. You know, that's that's something you don't have to display with him. You can just choose not to do that. Uh, it's choose your own venture time here. Of course, we got Brock Lesnar Ultimates. We get the last one. I use this one with a screaming head. And it's funny, you can get kind of uh, multi-generational Brock Lesnar screaming heads if you really wanted to. So I have the screaming head on the old one. I think I'm going to keep this plain Jane one on this one once I do get it cleaned up. And then we get Brock Lesnar, the last one for Elite 97. Now, here's the weird deal about this. Now, of course, if you're uh, somebody like me and you're ordering from Ringside Collectibles, using discount code Kyle, of course, uh, to save 10%, you just got this Brock Lesnar Elite 97. Now, like a week later, we're getting an Ultimate Edition. Now, I don't know how it's going to go out at the Targets, Walmarts of the world, but if these two go out about the same time and we know we have a new basic out there, we're going to have three different incarnations from three different Mattel toy lines of Brock at the same time on the pegs. I don't know if business-wise that's a good way to go because what you're going to do to the average Joe is you're going to make them choose between the three. Uh, some of them might even trade down, say, well, this Ultimate's an extra 12 bucks. I think I'm just going to get this regular Brock. So they might trade down the consumer. Uh, you don't ever want to do that as a company. You don't want to trade your consumer down to the lesser, lesser version. Um, and maybe you trade somebody all the way down to basic. I don't know. That's probably not as likely. So that is weird. I think if I was Mattel, if I was in the war room, I would have staggered these releases a little bit. I would have had the Elite come out, maybe use this Brock in the next Ultimate Wave and flip-flop some things, just because you don't want the same, relatively, relatively the same figure at retail at the exact same time. And that's just me putting the old business hat on. Uh, but who knows? The way distribution goes to stores these days, this could come out in November and this might not come out until February. Who knows? Maybe we're just lucky that we're kind of insiders and we get them from ringside. Uh, maybe that's the case. I don't know. But as usual, use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on this Brock list if you are so inclined to pick him up but what say you guys out there about the ultimate edition brock lesnar all in all out passing trading down are you one of the ones trading down to the elite version that that's good enough for you or are you passing on both of these and waiting for the amazon exclusive version you guys let me know your story in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell we got videos every single day and then some we got even more videos on the Patreon channel, link in the description below for that. Early access to videos like this, bonus content, monthly giveaways, pizza reviews, all kinds of stuff going on over there on the Patreon. Uh, and best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media. You can follow me at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.